What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Bronco Juggalo. And Bill. And we are back with another B movies. Be, be bad good. or be good. Or be bad or be good or be good or be bad. Whatever. Whatever it is. Yeah. I like you said, I named it and I don't fucking remember. Yeah. And I also don't remember the title of this movie. We are doing today We are doing Premutos. Premutos. Pre Premutos. This movie is from 1997. This is an MBD and Unearth two disc special edition. Very nice edition. It is a really, really sweet, nice edition. Cool artwork, stuff like that. And that's probably the nicest thing I'm gonna say in this whole fucking review. Yeah, because unfortunately, the director of this film. He is known for his over-the-top gore and practical effects, but that's really all you could say about the man. This movie was directed by Olaf Eitenbach. German director. Mm -hmm. That's a German film. Basic synopsis. A German man has visions of Premutos, who in this movie was the first fallen angel before Satan. And he sees the return of Primutos, and that's pretty much it. Other than that, the plot line of this movie is German people yelling loudly at one another. That's it. That's the plot. Isn't that all German people do? No. I was pretty sure it was. Lived in Germany for years. Never saw that. Oh, they don't talk angry to each other no. even though they're having a civil conversation? No, it's just the guttural sounding language. Ah, okay. Anyways. This film, my buddy Paul recommended this to me. He didn't recommend it for anything but the practical effects because he knows how much I love practical effects. And that's our biggest pro for this film. And it is the practical, the practical effects, effects are great. Are fucking awesome. They're phenomenal. This film's gory. It's awesome. Great practical effects. Um, Terrifier 2 level practical effects. It's good. Yeah, just really it's good, good as far as practical effects. Yeah. But no way, shape, or form did he say this movie was any good. He said he saw this film for the first time on a Japanese release VHS with... Uh, I forget which language the subtitles was in. I think it was Japanese or Korean subtitling. With German. In other words, he had no idea what was going on. Exactly. Guys, the only other pro I have for this movie is there is an animated backstory at the beginning of the film that is really cool. It is. And I just found out that that was actually made just for this Blu-ray release. It's not on the original release. No. So, But that's the only two good things I liked about this movie. Other than that, we sat there bored until it was time for something cool or another kill scene to happen. We just kind of were bored yeah. looking at our phones. This movie was just... There was no plot. Mm -hmm. Even with subtitles. We get to watch it with subtitles. Now, like, what the fuck is going on? In it's this like film? they kept forgetting what their plot was. They kept just going off into random shit. And where did the tank come from at the very yeah. end? And I don't mean random like when I watch Sante Sangre. Because at the end of the movie, it all kind of wraps it up. And but yeah, this one wasn't like that. It wasn't where it was entertaining. What the fuck am I watching? Weirdness. This was like what? dull. What? Okay, this sucks. Kind of weirdness, you know. When the action is going on and the practical effects are going, this movie is great. But there's no plot. Mm -hmm. It's just randomly jumping everywhere. Mm -hmm. And apparently this director is known for this. I honestly don't want to see another one of this guy's films. Me either. I don't, because like, what the fuck is going on? Just, like I said, at the end of the, uh, towards the end of the film, where did this random tank show up from? <laughs> yeah. And it's blowing through the zombies when it shoots the cannon. Why? Oh, where did the zombies come from? We don't even know where that came from. But anyways, the fucking tank is shooting. And 
It's blowing apart the zombies. Why isn't it blowing a hole in the wall behind them? This is just a cluster fuck. It's also known as Premutos, Land of the Living Dead, which I forgot to mention earlier because we just kind of got into it. Yeah. And believe it or not, it has a 5.3 on IMDb, which I just, somebody that... What? The German people must have got on there and just really rooted for this movie because it sucks. There's no rhyme or reason to this film. Nope. Um, like I said, I lived in Germany for years. I'm not saying I'm fluent in German anymore, but I do still speak some German, and I read German, and the subtitles were incorrect very often. So, yeah, that was a big con. Uh, like I said, most of the film is just German people yelling at each other for no reason, and they're talking nonsense. It's like not even about the plot of the movie. It's just bullshit. <laughs> and they're literally screaming at one another, and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? We'll never know. There was one thing at the end, the big, you know, the big battle or whatever. Yeah, they start the playing the credits during it, and yeah. it's like you, it's like you're trying to watch the shit through the credits. It's like, what the fuck? Get the hell out of the way! You know, guys, this movie was just a clusterfuck from start to finish. Do you have anything else you want to say about it? You don't need to watch this unless you really love practical effects. That's the only good thing about this film is the practical effects. Yep. They're amazing, but the rest of the film, it's like, ah, yeah. what is going on in this film? I definitely so, give it a be bad. Be bad. Don't bother. If you do, you know what's funny is. Because we've watched so many movies, especially ones Paul's recommended to us that have been good. I pulled it up. I was like, oh, this looks interesting. And I pulled it up, and I was into that animated sequence. Yeah, it was good. So I was going to buy it. It was like 40. It's like 40 bucks on eBay, by the way. It's hard to get it anywhere else. And I was going to buy it. And then I was was like, okay, yeah, fuck that. No. I didn't hit that button. No. Glad I didn't hit that button. But I will. We got to say. He did never say this is a good movie. Yep, that's true. He recommended it just for the practical effects. All right, guys. Thank you for joining us. Peace out, y'all. And good night. Talking about mob shit. Couple hundred grand, I ain't much shit. One phone call, you can get touched Give me good time, hit the do list shit. Good fellas always got a full clip Keep the family beers on 